um good morning subscribers will be will be going to ph y 101 today and we'll be doing vectors question three question three of tutorial sheets tutorial sheets two so um the question says a vector a has components a x negative five point zero zero meters and a y nine point zero zero meters find the magnitude and be the direction of the vector a so i've been told we have a vector a so let me just draw maybe a cartesian plane so i have a vector a so in the x axis this is the x this is the y so i've been told that in the x axis um it goes to the negative five and this is in meters this is in meters as well so that's negative five then in the y axis it goes all the way up to nine positive nine so this is the x component this is the yeah x component then this is the y component so now this vector is like that so i've been told to find the magnitude of this a as well as um the direction the direction so the direction will be the angle with respect to the x-axis the theta yeah so now we can go ahead and try to solve this one so um we start with the magnitude formula a will be equal to a in the x squared plus a in the y squared so now a which is the magnitude this is the magnitude by the way not the vector a in the x so i thought a will give us a in the x is 5 negative squared um, plus a in the y is 9 squared so the magnitude of a is going to give us um you can punch that in our calculator so 5 squared plus negative let's put negative oof, negative 5 squared plus 9 squared and that's 106 the square root of 106 is 10.29 we can end there at 6 meters so that's the magnitude of a so now let's find the direction direction we know the direction is given by the tan theta of whatever is in the y and of whatever is in the x so now this is the case because when you look at this one we are having our in fact to use this one will be a different angle we can label this one as alpha and then this one as theta so we're going to have this one as our tan alpha so that when we find our tan alpha we'll, we'll come and find our theta later on so now um i was saying alpha tan alpha will be equal to whatever is in the y and whatever is in the x because this one when you look at it and you basically review sokatoa you're going to have something like um sokatoa to so i've got store eh? so tan of opposite over adjacent so what's opposite the opposite of this angle we have nine which is from there which is in the y then the adjacent we have the five there so now tan tan of this alpha will be equal to what's in the y because this is y and then this is x so it will be what's in the y over what's in the x so now our tan alpha will be equal to um our, our alpha now because that's what we're looking for will be a tan inverse when you take the tan inverse of both sides you're going to have this tan inverse of y over x so now our alpha is going to be tan inverse of um in the y we had nine in the x we had five so alpha is going to be equal to we can get our calculator and punch nine divided by five tan inverse of the answer that's 60.945 degrees you can even know that's 60.9 so that's what we found our direction so our direction was question b then our magnitude was question a so that's all for this one it's very very easy um subscribe to the channel also comment like and share with others that are going to find this help you can also um you can also round off this one so now here we have got our turn alpha so now to find theta remember alpha is this one theta is this one so we have a straight line here a straight line we know is 180 so to find tan theta we're going to say theta is equal to 180 minus um 60 point i think at this point we can round off 60.9 okay we can just put like this point nine four five. depending with whatever you've been told to the significant figures you've been told in the question 
So I've got 180 minus 60.945. So I've got 119.055 degrees. So now we have our A, the vector, is going to be equal to um, whatever its magnitude was. Um, what is the, mag the magnitude was 10.296 um, and then our direction will be 19 point I think we can just say 19.1 this is in meters this can also be rounded off but you can say it's if let's say you've been told two significant figures we are going to have it like that and if this one is in two significant figures, it will just be 119 degrees. So that's all for the question.